Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. Not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disky. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. 
We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. Never meet that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, hey Highness? Let's grab it and go. Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Knocked! I got you! Come on, pull yourself up! Ah.
Arkian? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. <sighs> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. first <laughs> faster calm down I'm going as fast as I can <sighs> Talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. <sighs> Sick of this endless walking. 
Then I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. <sighs> we finally made it. I know. I'm here! <laughs> what the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me.
Don't stop! Run! He just won't quit. Still here? Yes. Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one! Luna, you 
fancy meeting you here. It occurs to me I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellor Izunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice, Doctor. I know. Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Here's hoping you find that car of yours. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone sending us a message.
by the storm sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened. The Oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna. Where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Oh, uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. So my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You... Really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth, it strikes the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. No joke. First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are.
Magitek engine. It's close. Over. Let's go back and play video games. Go back where? To our hotel room? Not gonna happen. Prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the Oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings find the king. You all right? What did she say? Ah. Uh, that Lunas of the Lunas wants up. Lady's helping you out anyway. Gentiana? 
Yeah, is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. While not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people. Watch your back! Thanks! Covenant is forged, but the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Not you okay? Yeah. Another reminder to receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Finally! Time to meet with the Storm Sender! You'd better look your best. Good 
Time for. Hey! Apologies. None the worse for wear. So, Iris's story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archeum as soon as she fled the Ground City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You're one to talk. Get back. Knocked. Overhead. What the hell? I can't get a hold of her. Iris? She call you? No messages. Imperials above us! Thanks. Come on, pick up. No luck? Probably got her phone on silent. Amazing. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see law come to life before my very end. To the right! Got it!
After Rama, we go see Leviathan, right? Indeed. I dare say Lady Lunafreya seeks the Hydrian as we speak. Which means another right, and a heavier burden. Hope she can hold up. Still gonna visit the other royal tombs, right? Of course. We've simply gone off road for a spell. Noct could definitely use a hand from his ancestors. The dead can wait, but gods aren't always forgiving. Let us not keep the full Jurian waiting.